Hey, oh boy, that last one was fun. In the mental list in my head, things to do before Sykeston, No Name Nationals, we've got some things to do to the car. Waiting on parts for the motor. While we're at it, we can do things to the car itself. I already connected the frames a while back. Um, now I need to do a drive shaft safety loop, which is gonna be build your own. Jay did one on the CUDA last year. His was kind of a bolt-in assembly. I think I'm gonna do mine full weld-in. Um, once it's in there, you can still access your drive shaft in and out. It shouldn't be in the way. So I'll kind of show you how I'm gonna do it. What I've got is two by quarter. And this was a piece of round pipe cut in half. And then I welded two inch pieces, you know, like this. That will form the loop. And then we'll weld off of there to the subframe, more or less. I tried to heat this up in a vise, I scored it. I tried to bend a 90 on here and it broke. So we're gonna cut and weld instead and probably throw a gusset in there too. Pretty easy stuff. So I'm gonna get a few things set up and we'll be back. I'm gonna weld the loop together, tack it together a little bit first. I went ahead and gave her a bevel. It's pretty thick. We'll get some clamps on there, some magnets hold her good and give her some tacks. I'm running a Hobart 140. She's on the gas. It's a 110 volt model. For what I do, I think it works pretty good. It's a good brand I like, and I've had it for a few years now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to use. We're just gonna zinger in there a little bit. And then we got to address the one I broke. I don't think I have any more pieces. So, but it's not the end of the world. This might even be long enough. I have to get it up there and kind of hold it. Cause it's only like 36 inches between the subframes, which I'm gonna weld to those. The cleaner the ground, the better. So make sure you get all that mill scale off anything you're welding. It'll work lots better. I think I'm gonna go ahead and weld the inside in. like hell perfect that one's better um yeah we can get a grinder in there and smooth that out a bit and next i think i'm gonna attempt to make these the 90 it's gonna go there somewhere. I have to flatten that out. Digging around the scrap steel pile, I found this big old piece of angle iron. So, what I can do, I think, is knock off some just pieces of the right width, put them on where they need to be, and then I can weld off a lip weld to. Should be good. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Let's cut this a little bit. We'll go just shy. So we'll have like a natural 
bevel in it. Watch your balls. More or less straight, I believe. One. Got her. Okay. Dress these up a little bit. Oh, pro tip, by the way. Very pro tip. Get yourself two angle grinders. One for what's the cutting wheel or grinding wheel. Two for the cleaner wheel. Then you're not, you know, you're not doing that choice. What'd you bring? Hoagie buns and peppers. What are you making? I ain't making nothing. Oh, man. you're going. <laughs> Nikki asked for it. No. Oh. We're over in Prairie shopping. And we we're just over there. No. Nice. Wah, wah. <laughs> Looks like a caterpillar made of dimes. I couldn't see it. It was like wandering. <laughs> That's right. These will be better. It'll be fine. And he's gone. Okay. Just a winter wonderland out there. Kind of had been out here for the last few days, but now it is 30 degrees warmer. 30 degrees. That's right. It's now 20 degrees above zero. Oh, this thing's hard to heat. Lagman. Anyways, so. Here's the plan. We're going to go under the car, try to secure this in place in the tranny tunnel, figure out where this needs to land. We might bring back this with us, huh? Oh, come on! So we'll figure out where these got to land and we'll mark it for said bracketry. Tip every fucking thing over there. We can come out and finish weld all this. We go under one more time measure. And the plan is to put this above the subframe connector. So it'll be here. And have it just a touch of sticky out. So we can burn that side and the other side. And if that ain't strong enough, then it should be. I don't, it's pretty heavy stuff. Alright. Let's see if we got charged up batteries. Tyler! And we'll get under the car and see what we can't do. So we've got a nice grease stain from where the tranny used to leak out the tail shaft. So that's going to tell me that's where the tail shaft is. Big block of wood. If you notice, it's a single block. You don't use you don't use a Jenga stack when you're fiddling around. So we'll go here-ish. Let's pull a measurement off the, we'll go from the cross under the tail shaft and see where that is on the tranny, which is conveniently right over there. So we'll pull on here, we got about Call it ten and a half. We'll call it. Hang on. Twelve to the U joint. More or less, it's in the center. Center. Center there. Exactly. Okay. Cool. That's 12 to that schmutz line. So we'll go back. I believe it's six inches. It's about six inches, about that much, right? <laughs> okay. We'll go arbitrarily right there. So then. How's that look, everybody? 
crooked, crooked as hell. Can't see, can't tell. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, we gotta straighten that out. It looks not so bad this way. What's it look like? That ain't bad at all. She looks pretty perpendicular to the subframes, I'd say. I wonder if I got a straight edge long enough to go all the way across. I can mark the outside there. Okay, got an idea. I was gonna take Duddy's shoelaces, but all his shoes are Velcro. So this will have to work. My own shoelace. So we want it on the top. So we'll run it up and over. Oh, I did it the wrong way though, didn't I? Okay. So we'll mark it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack the angles on, cut these two, tack them, and then just go under the car and see if it goes in or out or what have you. Quick and dirty. Take into account too where you weld this, that if that's your line where you want it to land, you gotta go up so that coincides with your strap going all the way across. Right? Good. Don't know if you get the drift yet. Something like this. Me? Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll just try to see if it'll dial in right there. Just for funsies. I don't know if the clamps are going to be in the way or not, but we'll give it a whirl. It looks really straight. Don't it? Let's try it with the clamps on. There'll be less tax to grind, right? Yeah! Somebody's here. Take one. Shut the door. You're done with all this shit, aren't you? No, this oh, is yeah. safety stuff. Uh oh. Oh, that, that's that piece you made before, or are you having more shit to it? Yeah, no, I got this how it's gonna work. This how it's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to wall it under the car. That would work. I don't wanna do that. Why is it different, or why did you have to take that out? No, this is new. It was the other one out. What, what do you mean? You already no. had a drive shaft thing out, or was that the other car? That's the, oh, that's the Cuda, yeah. Oh. I was thinking that was this one. Oh. It'll go under there. I got it. Oh, God, I got it. <laughs> I have a question. Yes, sir. I think it was supposed to get like four or five inches of snow tonight. Or today, and today into Monday or something. Well, it's kind of jumping all over, but yeah. Truck up, up with your big truck, yeah, just up to the top. And then I had my dad drive me to the gate. Did you feel that way? What happened the other day? You guys didn't do it or didn't have time? Well, my truck broke, yeah, this one broke down again. What it blew a power steering line, so I oh, cut it. No, the compression couple would fit again. Not <laughs> oh, no, so okay, all right. But I didn't know if your truck was let's go out help Joshy Sunday or So Josh stopped in. One of his trucks. You riding long? Huh? You riding long? Yeah. Got Peyton back there. Why am I getting in the back? I don't know. You want to go front? Yeah. Cooper. He got in the back of the cab. So what happened to your dad's truck? Broke a transmission line? Yeah. We're gonna go get it swung around so we can get it over to a shop later. Just because it's so warm out now. All right. We'll see you there. Nice. Um. 
So up, I'll go up and over, and if you put your back in by that light pole way up there, right? Yeah. I'll go up and over this way, and then to that light pole, yeah. Keep that point at us. the day so Josh got to get it pulled out of there we were just turning it around it's a little bit easier might get some snow later so he don't know yet but yeah it's uh, a winter freaking wonderland here and he's got to take his truck into a shop blown tranny line pretty easy but it's just too cold and it sucks working outside when it's like this, especially on vehicles. All right, so back to what we were doing. Okay, test fit it. It fits really nice, so I'm gonna finish weld it, I guess. And Tyler. Okay. Burned in. Flip it over, do some more. Geez, that was like the size of the gap that I'm gonna gap duddy with. A lot to fill. trick is the welds you can't get to with the grinder you want those to look nice and the rest and the and the and the, <laughs> the rest you can slide. The, yeah the rest you can you can not worry about so much come on big lou oh there's a big dogo don't fall down All right, grinding sequence engaged. I like it and I can wiggle it in there it sets on top of the subframe connectors and then sure. uh, uh, done yeah okay nice yeah it's part of it now Fuck, it's good to go yeah damn it that's nice so yeah I like it. clean up a couple more welds and then I'm gonna paint it and put it in oh yeah mm -hmm. done enough now we'll send it over to paint 
department. Send it over to the paint department. <laughs> All right, we gotta hurry. We got more and more fools over here, so I got it. Let's see if we can. I got it up on top of the subframe on each end. So it's gonna burn her in. See it there. And over there. And I gotta weld upside down above my head. Upset about that. <laughs> you don't need to worry about the fuel lines being on fire. part of it now. Oh, we gotta clear the air. I wonder if you can see them. I can't see them through here. Well, did we learn anything today? I didn't. I still learn I'm an okay welder. And a grinder makes me look better. And I got weld splatter on the GoPro, so Blake's could be mad at me. But there's some undercoat paint on it to match the rest. It'll dry, it'll match. It'll look good when it's dry. So there it is. That's what I thought when you walked in. There it is. I'm happy. It'll look good. All right. Bigger and better things now. Waiting on. Oh. Cylinder heads, headers, stuff like that for the car. And what else are we waiting on? Blake has to get that tranny put back together so we can go get the one out of the Cuda. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the point. That's why we buy them. Life would be boring without a Dodge. Who wants to go out and start their vehicle every single time? No, they're all. Right, right. But don't get too new of a too new of a Toyota. Yeah. Toyota. Yeah, get, get the oldest Toyota that was owned by a grandma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, that's going to do it. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, yeah, remember, September 30th, October 1st, Sykeston. No name nationals. Over at, over at Jeffers Motorsports Park, Sykeston, Missouri. Bro, Uncle Ty's coming. Dragsters. Right? You're going to Sykeston. No, I ain't going out. You Fuck son you of a bitch. <laughs> if he doesn't go, we're going to reveal a deep, dark secret about him. And the internet will hate you for abandoning your lost love child. I guess I'll it's have me. to go. It's me. If you make me. All right, Dad's going. See ya.